our greatest enemy, the land cat. Land rats and land cats. Land rats and land cats. I hope you're ready for another Land Rats episode. This week, we got this bad boy up there. So let's jump right into it. I've got a delivery. Oh, bless him. I'm sticking in organ wind vane. Not for you, little doggy. Let's see what it looks like, Otopi. Here. It doesn't look new new but it does look doesn't look too bad. This is the rudder. It's a little bit small compared to our actual rudder. taking down to the boat we'll have to see how we're gonna mount it on the boat because our ladder is right in the middle where this needs to go so we'll need to do some thinking around there and that's its new home until we move the ladder and fit it this is obviously the previous guy that's purposely made for his specific boat so we'll have to change this mounting our specific uh, thing. Let's just go show them at the back where it's supposed to go. So this is it's supposed to mount on here, on the back like that, quite a bit away. And then the rudder, the auxiliary rudder should be like this, because this is, I think, if I can remember correctly, this is a water line here. So the whole length of the rudder should be in the water here. And also another problem is our little ladder is here in the middle. So that's yeah, where it needs to be mounted. Probably, but we, I suppose we can uh, we can change the ladder. We can move the ladder to the one side. Just build a bit of a frame so we close it up the side, just so it could protect the the, the, the automatic uh, the wind vane. Uh, and then we can just use the ladder on the left hand side. The only problem now is that one of the back stays. The back stays got like locked goes on both of these and so it actually goes on to that so you have to walk around the back stage. But I think we'll figure that out. There's a little plate we custom made for the for the wind vane and uh, the fitting that we are gonna try and tack while to it. That's gonna go up like it's gonna go up like that. Something there like that in the middle way. It's gonna have like a that much gap at the back and then you just make sure that that thing that goes up to the top the tower must be horizontal because now it's leaning like that because I just tied it up to the roof to get the level that's just because we hanged it for bad behavior if you act like a goose you get the noose Attack the wind vane now. Um, we just taped the the what's it called in English or water pass the spirit level to it so we can make sure it's lined up correctly. I'll put the camera up and then we'll do it. Stacked into position. Water level looks 
Okay. Good. So now we gotta go weld it downstairs. Yeah, damage the paint a bit. Since the wind vane is now in the middle, uh, our little ladder isn't gonna fit anymore. So we gotta move that fitting over there and that fitting. I think we're gonna move it to the left hand side and cut a bit out of that um, pulpit or rail. So, stern rail so we can still climb on the boat if we fall over from drunkenness or swimming while the, and while the uh, wind vane is in the water. It also helps us to mount the wind vane because now we can access the ladder to get in and to, to mount it. Yeah, I can climb next to it, yeah. which is a bit better. Otherwise, we will store, we, the wind vane is going to be stored on deck if we don't use it. It's not in the way the dinghy or something uses it. Yeah, so let's remove that quickly. That's going to be the new position of the ladder. We just marked the holes there, so we're going to drill them in there. with the uh, rails at the back of uh, I've moved the little ladder the ladder used to be in the center stacked it at the top there but uh, busy with the method there just some G clamps and ropes and stuff to get the surfaces together so I can weld it close the old gap I've just stack welded the uh, plate in place here once I've got everything up, I'll take everything down and take it to a guy that can weld it for me better than I can. My welding, the thin stainless steel is not so good, so I'll take it to somebody to fix it. Put the, the panel here, we put it the ladder, but there's a problem here. If you can see it doesn't line up properly. If you look at the base, the base is, is similar. It looks like this whole pole is bent this way. So being a boermaker plan story, I'm gonna attach this thing with a with a with a pulling device onto that pole there. See that pole there, and I'm gonna bend this so it, as it bends in, in shape it'll also move about the way I think so it should line up there so we're gonna try that see now it's looking better there see that gap there it's pulled it quite a bit so let's open the gap there and also if you look from this side, it's a bit of a gap there. So it looks good, I think. See, this is what happens if I let it go. It has to be like that. But now I'm gonna take it off so I can move the, move the ladder so I can get access aside because it's difficult climbing over here the whole time I'm gonna fall. He's busy welding up the old holes, so we moved the, the ladder and stuff. So now he's closing up the old holes. So weld them, and then after we welded them, put some epoxy again and paint it. We've got a bare bottom boat here. After welding the whole shot that the ladder used to be on originally, we're gonna just paint them quickly with the same epoxy that we used for the diesel tank. And also some rust spots in the inside there.
Okay, all the metal has been cleaned up and we've uh, we've painted it over there. So now we're gonna mount the, the wind vane in its final position. Then we'll be busy with the rail next week. We're gonna build a solar arch for uh, an arch for the solar panels. And that's the full wind vane mounted. You can see if the if the wind at the top blows it, it'll rotate the rudder a little bit. I'm rotating it manually. And it also goes sideways. What happens is if the wind blows off course and it pushes it on the side there at the top, you see the rudder turning like this and then obviously it changes the angle of attack in the water and it would then move the rudder like that and then that section at the top there runs through a line onto the tiller which pulls the tiller to correct it. We still have to put in the rudder and the tiller but they're ready as soon as we're done with the prop there. The rudder's here and the tiller's in storage. It's not as easy as, as it looks because you see that our measurements are a bit bubbleless. Obviously there'll be some the ocean pushing it back a little bit so there is a little gap uh, for it to move um, so we're not too worried about that but the problem is folding it up if you lift it up all the way and it catch on here on the body uh, so you can't fold it up fold it up and keep it out the way so we'll have to bring this whole thing out like 50 millimeters that's why you need to drive the these things sure that they fit and we haven't I drive fit with it, but I didn't put the rudder on and I didn't swing it around, so that's why it's a problem. So we'll have to fix it. But we're not going to worry about it immediately. It's not that difficult, it's just extending that stainless steel there by about 5 centimeters, 50 mil. And then it should be able to swing around fully. So to stow them, we can stow it upright when we don't use it. Take off the rudders, put your rudder in the, in the top section off and then fold it up and just tie it up so it'll just stand there yeah because otherwise at the moment even if you take the rudder off it'll block our, our ladder yeah if you leave it like that if you can't access the ladder if you go the other way then this this section here is going to be like a ladder because the ladder is running obviously running here for the newbies out there what a wind vane self steering is it basically just keeps your your direction um, the same relative to what the wind does so if the wind changes a bit your direction will change as well but if you're in the trade winds it rarely does so that'll keep you on course for wherever you're going and um, you don't have to sit on the tiller all the time and, and steer the boat you'll just go where you want to go while doing some other stuff like drinking beer cooking food or whatever that's it from the matching t-shirt gang we'll see you again next week like and subscribe if you haven't and that's it. Cheers. Cheers. Next week, frame.